Hello, my name is Zane Winkler, and this is my USU capstone project for my electrical engineering degree. And this project is called ZooTap. ZooTap uses infrared sensors to locate animals inside zoos. Well, surprisingly, a lot of the problems that they have at zoos is first, people come to the front desk asking where animals are. And second, people, um, people tend not to stay at zoos if they can't find the animals. Now this helps in two different ways. So this project helps customers and helps zoo owners. It helps customers by helping them um, by helping them find animals faster so they can enjoy the park. This helps zoo owners because it helps customers interact with the exhibit for a longer amount of time. I was talking to a zoo owner and um, they were telling me that this was one of their main problems and um, usually when people just come into the zoo, uh, and look at animals, they usually spend about a minute, a minute at each exhibit. Now, it can turn into 30 seconds if they're not able to find the animal fast enough and they just want to move on. However, if they have some sort of guide to show where these animals are located and to tell them more about the animals, customers usually spend about three to five minutes at each enclosure. Now this helps zoos because the longer you stay at a zoo, the more money that you're going to spend. And so thus, ZooTap is made and it's to help customers and to help zoo owners. This is my enclosure for ZooTap. And so you'll see that there are two tables stacked on top of each other with computers on the second table. Underneath the second table, the infrared sensor is sensing where that white sheet is placed. Wherever some, whatever detection is found on that sheet will be computed into 3D Pi, giving us a 3D platform positioning. Underneath the table, you will find an Adafruit IR sensor, the MLX9640 sensor. This has the capabilities of having a 120 degree, degree area where it can follow or where it can sense um, any warm object within the infrared sensor's boundaries. The MLX 9640 camera is connected to a Raspberry Pi, which then gives me the opportunity to communicate with the infrared camera using a terminal on my monitor. By running ZooTap on my computer, I open up Pi 3D, which gives me a blank surface with my animal in its pen. The sensor is currently sensing me standing right next to the table, thus giving the triceratops closer to the corner of the table. If I stand back a little bit, and if I move my hand over to the left side, the animal should begin to travel over to that side. Moving my hand to the other side will make it travel to the other side. If you want to see what I'm doing with my hand, I'm bringing it down to here, moving it over to the left, getting the animal to the left side, and then moving my hand over to the right, moving it to the right side. To further demonstrate this project, I'm going to be using this hand warmer, putting it to one side and dragging it on the other side, showing that the triceratops will go from one side of the screen to the other side. The hand warmer is placed on the left side of the enclosure. As I pull it to the right, the animal will travel to the right alongside the hand warmer. On the monitor, it will look like this, as the Triceratops travel from the left to the right, as smooth as it can go. The user using this device will have only a couple of controls. First, they can use the mouse to change the position of the 3D map. That way, if there's any height difference um, or mountains in the enclosure, they will be able to sense it and find out where the animal is. The next thing they can do is if they want to reorient themselves to the front of the cage, all they have to do is press the space bar, and it goes back to the front, where the hand warmer is placed, to the right. ZooTap is a prototype. This means that there are a lot of improvements that can be made to make it a lot better. All right, because of time restraints, I was not able to make the map smoother and cleaner as it could have been. There's also many restrictions with IR infrared cameras. My code right now only detects one animal at a time. Thus, if multiple animals were in the pen, it would take the average of those 
locations in the in the enclosure and put them into one. This is not helpful when you're trying to look for an animal inside a cage. This can be fixed, but again, with time restraints, I was not able to do so. Another thing with infrared cameras is that it senses off of reflective surfaces. This means any water, any metallic structure built into the enclosure will reflect the animal's heat signature. So even if you could put two um, animals or more in one infrared sensor, it would get confused and show you that there's an animal where there is not. Overall, I had a really good time doing this project. I learned a bunch. I got a code in Python, and this was my first time using a Raspberry Pi. I was able to use different libraries and manipulate them for my cause. Hope you enjoyed my presentation. Farewell.